In this video, I'll show you how to connect a PS3 controller to your laptop in 2020 running the brand new Windows 11. So now let's jump with the video. So for the setup, there's a few things in it. So first thing is obviously your controller, then the cable that came with your controller, and then your computer. So you can use any laptop you want or any PC you want. So Wannabe asked me to make this video for a laptop, so here you go. So you can use any laptop or PC you want, it doesn't matter, but also any budget you want. So for me, I'm running the brand new Windows 11. So if you're in Windows 11, 10, 8 or 7, it will absolutely work. So first thing you need for this tutorial, you're gonna get a controller and now you're gonna just a, a plug it into your PC. Now you're gonna see it will start flashing. After you've done that, now you're gonna go back to your computer and now you're gonna type in control panel. Now you're gonna tap on view devices and printers. And now you should see a device. So in the bottom, you should see it's the PlayStation 3 controller. You should you tap on that and click on harder and then you're gonna see if it's the same thing or not. If it's the same thing, you can continue watching the video. So now you're just gonna minimize your a control panel after that you're gonna go to my discord server if you haven't joined it make sure you join and then you're gonna tap on links and then you're gonna click on this link right here so, so this is the link you need to uh, download the thing so just click on yep and now it will go to this page now you're gonna click on download and now you're gonna click on save now you're gonna see this is a, a, a zip file so after that it's finished downloading now you can just close it up and now you're gonna go to your download folder so after that as you said i download this twice to show you guys so I'll just delete the other one. Now you're gonna right click on it and then you're gonna click on show more option. And now you're gonna click on extract here. So it will just give you a file right here. So now you're gonna tap on it and now you're gonna get something like this. Now you're gonna tap on bin and now you're gonna tap on the SCP driver. And click on yes. Now it will go to this page right here. Now make sure you uncheck the Bluetooth driver and then you're gonna check the force install. Now you're gonna click on yes. Now you're gonna see it to just give it a few seconds and also this make sure you click on yes and for this it will just take a few seconds to few minutes it just it really depends now you should see it will say install summary in install summary and then also in the top it should say install successfully and now you're gonna see your controller will be paired and then it will be on number one so after that now you're gonna close this now you're gonna go to our control panel and now you should see the xbox 360 controller so this uh, for windows that thing this is the xbox 360 controller so as i said if you just tap on that then tap on order boom right here so that one is working right now so after that now you're gonna make sure you before you do anything make sure you go back and click on as we see driver once again now make sure this is on so if you see this you're gonna see the pair one make sure it's connected so for you guys, you can just unplug it and then plug it back in. So for some of you, for this, it need to be on. For some of you, it don't need to be on. So for me, as I said, so it's not showing anything. So just for us, we can just close this. But until it still doesn't work, make sure you go and make sure you open the SPC server after you download the SPC driver. So after that, we can just close it up. Now if you just hold the pressure button, you're gonna see, as I said, it's working. So now we're gonna go and open up the Steam. As you said, for my controller, it does have a problem because it's a real old, a old controller. But things for air controller, it will be absolutely fine. So I'll just open up the Steam to show you guys that it actually does work. So I'll just open up the a big picture mode. I guess also if you guys enjoyed this video, then it doesn't gonna smash the like button. You're gonna see it's working out, out of the box. Now, before I do anything, we're gonna go to the control and now we're gonna change it. As you said, it think it's a control. Xbox 360 controller. Then if you just tap on it, make sure the rumble is if you want, make sure it's on. For me, I like this to be on. And also if you want to change the controller uh, number, you can uh, uh, do that. Boom, as you can see, it's working absolutely fine. There's no problem. Also, if you need to go on the setting and then tap on controller, so you can actually change the uh, setting as this as well. So if you need to change the name or the rumble, if you want to be the rumble to be on or off. Also, if you click on uh, identify, it will know what the controller is. So it will save uh, upgrading. As you said, the controller work absolutely fine. There's no problem or anything. So, so guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, then uh, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you need to my channel. And see you guys next time. Then peace out.